So for my 4th of July noodle wreath, these are the supplies that I have. I'm not gonna need to use them all, but if I have extras, I'm gonna go ahead and make an extra wreath. So I did get two packs of these four, there's four in each, these foam wands. I got the USA and then I got the stars. I also got these super cool 10 count LED lights and these take two AA batteries, so I'm hoping that I can incorporate these somehow in my wreath. Now, I am a total beginner, so if you're a total beginner too, this video is perfect for you. I got some of this burlap ribbon that I'm just going to go ahead and place around the wreath itself. I got three of them. I don't think I'll need three, but we'll have to wait and see. This will be part of my centerpiece of the wreath. And this will go below it. I will hide the circle part of the door hanger and just incorporate the ribbon and the dangling red, white, and blue bells there. And then I also have some garland as well. I chose the blue because the outline of my centerpiece is red. So I thought that the blue would just be another color rather than getting the white. So itself. for your project, all that you need is a regular pool noodle. And all I did was I took some duct tape and I purchased my duct tape at the Dollar Tree. It works fabulous. And I just formed it in a circle. So that is going to be the base of my wreath. For your project, guys, you will want to have some kind of a glue gun. It doesn't have to be a fabulous glue gun. And if you don't have one, my Dollar Tree does not sell the glue guns. So this particular one I did get at Michael's and it cost about $2.99. But it's going to be something that you're going to be using for future projects, so it's a good investment. But the Dollar Tree does sell the glue sticks, so it's always good to grab an extra bag or two to have for other future crafts that you may be doing. So basically how I started is I took the burlap and the first piece that I did, I just did over the um, tape to cover it up. I put a little bit of glue for my um, hot glue gun just to hold it in place. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep wrapping it around the noodle until it's filled. We'll see how many rolls this takes. I'm not sure how many it's gonna take, but this should be a okay, super, super took thin. exactly two rolls of the 4th of July burlap. It came out really good. Again, this is my first homemade wreath. So it's got a nice circular form. I just kept it tight so that um, it was covered good and that it was stable. So let's go into decorating with some of our 4th of July um, items. Okay, so this is going to be my centerpiece. And what I did was took that one decoration, that 4th of July decoration, and then I took the door hanger and I hot glued it to the back of it. So it's going to give it a little jingle jangle there and a little uh, noise when someone opens the door just to give it a little bit more of a festive look. Okay, so here's where I am so far. I glue sticked that top piece along with that door hanger piece there. And then at the bottom, I put a USA. I took from those foam sticks, I took the sticks off and just used the USA. And I think on both of the sides, I'm going to try and um, put one of the flags. I'm gonna try and work those LED lights into my wreath so at night we can turn it on. Again, this is my first wreath, so it's looking okay. I'm so far pretty happy with it, so we'll see how the lights go. Okay, so here is the dark effect of my wreath. We love it here. For my first wreath, it really came out really good. Everything glued really well with the hot glue gun, so definitely use it, guys. And I turned the lights off just to kind of show you that I was able to put that LED set of lights toward the bottom of the wreath. If you want to do the full wreath, you're going to need a whole strand of them, but I really love the way it turned out. So let me um, turn the lights back on and show you a little bit more detail of what I did. Okay, so we totally, again, love the way it came out. I think it looks really well. I did not go with the garland. When I put the garland around, it just looked kind of cheap and it was just too much. Um, and the stickers, I'm not so crazy about. I wish there was something a little bit... Um, more than the stickers to put on there, but I'm very happy. I love the light effect. You, you cannot see the justice of it. Um, the lights, they look super, super cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around and show you how neat the back actually looks. It really 
looks neat. So all I did was twine the lights around and I just hot glued them in certain areas just to keep them in place so that they wouldn't fall out of place. And then I just glued the battery pack to the back of my um, centerpiece there. So as you can see, I've got the on off switch. So when we don't want the lights on, we can easily turn them off. Super, super easy. I hot glued that puppy. It's not coming off. <laughs> Sam is laughing because I hot glued that puppy so it would not come off. But um, I'm really happy with the way that it came out. Okay, so the total of this project was $7. Uh, the pool noodle was a dollar. The two rolls of burlap, so that's three dollars. My centerpiece was a dollar, which was four dollars. And then the door hanger was another dollar for five dollars. The lights were a dollar, so that's six bucks. And then the stickers were also a dollar. Now I did get two different packs, but I'm actually going to be using the other stickers for some other crafts. So a seven dollar wreath. Can't beat that from the dollar store, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, our next wreath will be a summer wreath that we're going to be working on because I'm so addicted to these Dollar Tree crafts. So Sam's excited to make a summer wreath as well. So join us for that craft. And literally, guys, this took about a total of 15 minutes to make. 15 minutes. So if you have a neighbor or someone at work that you just want to give a little DIY gift, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye-bye.